Grand Shaps decided to go on live TV and claim that this government still plans to remove EU laws by the end of this year. And we are here to debunk his claims. I must admit, politicians are very skillful when it comes to going out there in public and lying directly to your faces with a straight face. Completely nonchalant about the whole situation. Grant Shapps, one of the top government ministers uh, whose responsibility is uh, two areas. Net zero and energy security, which makes no sense, oxymoron, but uh, he, also, he was also the representative from the government side to do the media rounds at the weekend to Sunday. And uh, one of the interviews that he did uh, on Sky News was uh, about uh, uh, the Brexit uh, battle over the EU laws. He basically uh, uh, accused Keir Starmer and the Labour Party of uh, wanting to reopen the Brexit settlement. Uh, but at the same time, his own government are not really going to be removing EU laws. They've already made a U-turn on them. But Schapp says that over 2,000 EU laws will be scrapped by the end of 2023. So it's all about wording of this narrative. So we're going to translate what he actually means by this, because it's not what you think. Uh, so during this interview with Sophie Ridge, he said this. About do, promising one thing and then doing another. Well, let's have a look at Rishi Sunak's promise to scrap 4,000 EU laws. Why has he broken his promise? Well, those laws are being scrapped, uh, 2,000 of which, over 2,000 of which, will be gone by the end of this year. No, 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 and wait for it. Uh, the reality is, as, as the libraries look for more of these laws that were... Uh, you know, sort of almost leftover piece of law, more are being uh, discovered uh, in the archives, as it were. And so there's a practicality of simply getting those through. But he's, he's still rambling on, but he's going to get to it. But, uh, you know, just this week, um, the, the business secretary put down, I think, 600 more that will be scrapped. That will be over 2,000 scrapped by the end of this year. And we carry on that process. Um... So 600 is basically the new um, the, the, the framework that they're working on. So it's over 4,000 nonsensical EU laws that shouldn't really apply to us anymore. Uh, these are not important ones. Uh, they, they don't really affect our international obligations or anything like that. Uh, so they already made a U-turn saying, we're going to keep them all, but we're going to go through them, a few of them, which is basically 600. Well, where does it get the 2,000 from? We'll get to it. Obviously, not the fully uh, the full pledge to get all of them off the statute book uh, by the end of the year. I just want to read you something from yesterday's Times. Uh, Saucer said that Shaps uh, believed that the proposal to scrap or reform all EU laws in the UK statute book by the end of the year was entirely doable, and that good progress was being made when he was in charge of the policy. Well, the See, on the same day, for the same, same period of time, one side of the government says, "Now we've made a U-turn." The other side go on TV and brief the papers, saying, "Yeah, we're going to do it. Don't worry, guys." I should point out this is now, we're now several months on from when I was uh, business secretary and looking after this process. So more of the laws will have been uncovered because that was the work that was going on. And so you've got to work with the practicality. Is that source correct there. though? No, so... no, you've got to work with what's there, you know, in the time that you're actually in that post. So, so Brexit. So things change. We get that, that things change, but things haven't changed. The laws are still the same laws and the situation hasn't really changed, has it? Ideology uh, meeting reality then? Well, look, I, I, I was never a, a sort of Brexiteer, and it's not my ideology, but I, all oh, I'm saying is you know that. Uh, things have moved on. Now, uh, the current oh. business secretary will quite rightly be looking at the body of laws there and working out how best to take them off our statute book. But here's the important principle. Hang on, before he gets to the important principle, this is the whole problem. We've had this issue since Theresa May in 2016. We got a bunch of people in government who do not even believe in Brexit or Brexit Britain. He just said it and he calls it an ideology. It's not an ideology, but what, how do we expect them to actually get things done if they don't believe in the opportunities? It's the important principle. Why does it even matter? Well, we've left the uh, EU. We shouldn't therefore have laws that sort of hang over and you know continue to dictate the way yeah. uh, that our country operates. People voted to leave. I, I didn't, okay. but lots of people did. And so it's not really helping himself. <laughs> Stop reminding people that you're a Ramona. We shouldn't have that on the statute book, but I've every confidence the current business secretary is looking at the plethora of these laws that are left. She's going to have more than 2,000 scrapped by the end of the year. She just announced another 600. I think she's doing this the right way. Okay, so the lie is that they've already listed 
uh, just o over a thousand uh, of EU laws that have essentially been scrapped and these are very like the small ones so if you add the 600 on top of that it will be um, 2000 so he's claiming he's basically discounting that it's already been done so he's going to add to it and be like so yeah over 2000 will be scrapped no that's a lie and you're not really doing the whole thing so stop briefing the papers the wrong way and be honest with the public I'm getting sick and tired of this. Anyway, let's take a quick break and come back in half an hour on my 2 c And we are the media.